Hi, I'm Gary, Gary the Goo Boy, and today we're running Path of Exile League! I am doing a Spectral Throw, Deadeye, Dex Sacking build. Yes, Mathel is playing the exact same build, but there is differences between ours. But we'll we'll talk about that in a hot second. And then we'll kind of go over the then we'll go over the build when I'm done. We'll learn together. Now, how do I feel about the league so far? It's just Arch Nemesis. That's my problem. It's just these Arch Nemesis mods are just so tanky look at how tanky these guys i know they're sentinel and all that and they block and i know they've nerfed it and this is like the post nerf arch nemesis mods even with max resistances 4k life it's so overwhelming sometimes that i worry that it's gonna put off a lot of new people and that's what scares me the most they're just gonna go up and then ram their head against this wall hilariously we do better against rare mods than we do magic mods because magic mods uh don't get mark on hit mathel made up for this by running a second mark just so he can curse these magic mods what is this a gargantuan with extra ice resistance nice Oh, look at that guy. That's a tanky guy. Our build is gonna end up being tankier than Mathel's because I'm hurting a lot more currency into it. This is my only build this league. I'm more worried that the, I'm gonna miss out on like Sentinel League because I don't know if you guys have noticed, I haven't actually used my Sentinel yet. And it's not like I have bad Sentinels and it just makes the boss so hard that like the only time I'm ever gonna use it is to apply Sap, which makes enemies deal less damage on empowering. It's just, that's the only use I've seen for it. As far as Spectral Throw goes, the coolness factor is, is undebatable. Like this is a very pretty build. While it may seem squishy right now because it's me playing it, it's not actually squishy. My version is going to be tankier, so we're going to end up with like 6,000 life, sunblock, max spell suppression, and a ton of evasion from our deck stacking. We should be in a pretty good shape defensively. I do plan to take this against endgame bosses. It's just we need to kind of pour a lot of currency into it in order to make the damage feel good enough where we're okay with those layers of defenses being our only layer of defenses. So damage over time kind of does suck with this build but remember we are at some point getting garu khan's flight the boots that make you uh, have more max health per 10 decks and makes you immune to any kind of ground like burning ground Ho! hey you know what i'm an honest youtuber okay i'll show you the death center map i am excited for the rest of this league you know what league this league reminds me of a lot synthesis for the first uh week to two weeks it was hated because you went into maps and you had to build this other map and then you ran this giant map and it was fast and you had to be fast and you had to kill things fast. Eventually, it got a lot better, like weeks into the league, but most people just quit. I worry that Sentinel League is going down the same path. Atlas passives. Atlas passives are following the same tree I did when I did the build video. We're gonna be going over here and immediately disabling everything but Sacred Grove. All right, so let's end the video on a little bit of a fun treat. Remember that Essence Spam Claw thing to get your Dex mod going? Well, we have our I level 85 Hunter Claw base that we bought, and we have a Shrieking Essence, which is the tier two Essence I told you to spam on it to get your uh, Dexterity mod. So we're gonna try it and see if we get it, and so we're gonna try it, see if we get it, and... Nope, I'm Gary, the Goo Boy, and bye.